All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what I want to talk with you guys about is I want to talk to you guys about a stock called Moral, ticker symbol M-O-R-L. The reason being, I'm interested in buying SMHB, a two times monthly paying small US high dividend, small cap high dividend ETN. And the reason being is because they pay a great dividend yield of 23%. They offer some pretty good price fluctuations and price appreciation. If you can get it at a good price, you could be up potentially 20% making 20% on your dividends. That's why I want to get into SMHB. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the underlying kind of asset that they track, which is the Russell 2000 ETF. But more importantly, I want to share with you guys a story about UBS E-Trax and the moral stock, which was a mortgage re ETN. And the reason being, this was a stock that came out, an ETN that came out at about $25 and actually is trading to this day as delisted because it is delisted. It is trading... Well, actually, it's no longer trading because you can't trade it. It's been edged off the stock market. It was pushed off in the 2020 crisis and has not yet recovered. It will not recover because it has been delisted as a current dividend yield of 488 percent. But that is not accurate. Please don't please don't try to buy the stock. I do not condone uh, trying to get back into this because it is a stock that is obviously diminished. And we're going to go over why exactly that happened in this video. So. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please learn from previous mistakes. It's better to learn, obviously, from your own mistakes, but I think in the world of investing, we can also learn from other people's mistakes. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and learn from the mistakes of moral and some of the investors that might have gotten into that. I haven't made a video in three days and three nights. It has been a very long time. I apologize. Still at 3,316 subscribers. From now on out, we're going to be continuing to be making videos almost daily. The reason being for the pretty poor upload schedule is just due to the fact that I had rugby finals. We went to our kind of provincial championships in Canada and we play second. So we're the second baddest guys in all of uh, our province. And so, yeah, that's, that's how it is, but that's just the reason for that. So without further ado, the 3,316 subscribers of ours who are tuned into the channel, I want to make this video for you guys. So moral, the UBS e tracks two time monthly paying leverage mortgage re ETN, very similar to the e tracks monthly paying two time leverage us small cap high dividend etn which is smhb now the reason moral went down was due to the crash of the mortgage um, the mortgage re index it was mvis which i think was the, the index that it tracked it says it more in this article right here mvis the mortgage um, global mortgage re index so in 2022 that index had a pretty significant sell off a pretty significant crash and due to the fact that moral was a two times mortgage uh two times leveraged etn it obviously took that downside and multiplied it by two which then led to the stock trading to about 24 cents and that is when ubs decided to exterminate that etn and kind of pay out investors the 24 cents on the initial $25 investment. I know that all might sound confusing. What I do want to say here is that just to read through here. So moral was actually yielding about 25% back in March, 2022. It's a stock where, you know, you can invest about a hundred thousand dollars and you'll get about $2,000 in a monthly payout. But the thing is, when moral crashed, if you were to have invested that hundred thousand dollars, you would have pretty much lost your entire hundred thousand dollar investment. Now, the main thing that they say is to understand what you're buying. Understand that you are buying a leveraged ETN, an ETN also being an exchange traded note. These are debt securities that track an underlying index. It tracked MVIS and SMHB tracks, it tracks IWM, which is the Russell 2000 ETF, but uh, they don't trade on a major exchange like a stock. ETNs are similar to bonds, but do not have interest payments. Instead, you could potentially say they have dividend payments, but um, ETNs are a lot more riskier because they're not only are you relying on the underlying bank, you're potentially relying on 
you know the mortgage rate index and your leverage just due to the fact that whatever the mortgage rate index does or whatever the Russell 2000 does, you're gonna go two times in the up direction, you're also gonna go two times in the down direction. And if it goes too far in the down direction, it could happen what more will happen and go to zero and then you lose your entire investment. Now, understanding what you buy, this goes, this definitely heavily goes into buying SMHB. I do wanna purchase SMHB, I don't have any SMHB in my current portfolio, but the reason being is because I see a potential to, to return pretty amazing dividends. I do understand it is an ETN. It's a two times leveraged ETN. What I want to see here is I want to see a, like a firm boundary in the Russell 2000 where I believe price will not hit any lower. You can see here in the Corona crisis, the price was trading at about $160, traded all the way down to about $114 for the Russell 2000, and then had a pretty good run up. Now, in that same period, SMHB actually went all the way down. It says here they went down to $2.25, $2.86, but actually they were down to about $0.84 cents and had a pretty substantial run up. You could call it a 1400% run up all the way up to $12.86 distributing dividends literally this whole way out and then it's been slowly trending down as same with their underlying index which is the Russell 2000. Now if the Russell 2000 was just a crash out of nowhere like this again we could potentially see the same thing as moral or we could see what SMHB did in the past which was it traded to values below three dollars and was able to then recover. If SMHB is able to recover through a crash like it did, then it could potentially be seen as a long-term hold. Well, I I do not recommend buying SMHB at all. This is just kind of for me personally and a stock to kind of bring to your attention, but I am very interested in the fact that, you know, it pays a good dividend. I think the Russell 2000 even it is an ETF, it is an index, and so it's not necessarily going to just absolutely, it could tank out of the blue, but the likelihood of that is a lot less than let's say you're investing in an individual stock. And so I think SMBH is a pretty interesting investment. I don't necessarily invest in small cap companies anymore, but I do believe there's a lot of potential in the space because obviously a lot of small cap companies go under, but a lot of them make it through and a lot of them could be potentially amazing returns. And so that's what keeps it interesting. Now, this was just a short little video on the message of moral and how you got to be very careful when investing in these two times leveraged ETNs because an ETN is not an ETF. It's not an exchange traded fund. It's an exchange traded note. There's a big difference in that <clears throat> being that one is following an index and is the index and the other, sorry, one is the index and the other one is pretty much following it under a bank and it's issued under a bank and if that bank fails as well then your etn will also fail so i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you guys seen a side of investing that you might not have seen for a while a kind of more on the the grim side of what investing could be but it's a good check and a good reminder just so that we can all stay in place and we can all be careful with our money. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please do remember to subscribe We're up to 3,316 subscribers. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a great day. Take, take care, guys.